Hey everyone, how's it going? Welcome back to another video. So, uh, I'm not going to be doing an in-depth review or like comic uh, or comic book Easter egg video for, for this episode because there really isn't a lot. In the last few episodes, there was a lot more to talk about, a lot more uh, stuff that happened in-depth. But with this one here, it's all Reaper stuff. It is completely original to the show and... I was trying to look at things in depth and I was trying to understand a lot, but there really wasn't a lot there to really, you know, I said it all in my, in my review, right? So obviously, I guess if, if you if you just watched the episode tonight, I mean, first of all, post your thoughts down below, like like how good of an episode is this? Rank it from like one to ten. I'd really like to see your thoughts on it. And also maybe rank the episodes like how would you rank the episodes that you've seen so far? I know my ranking and episode five for me is the, is my favorite one, but. Yeah, I figured that I, I would prefer to focus on more of a topic, and this is something that, that I've been wanting to talk about, like, literally all week, but I couldn't because not a lot of people saw it, and that is Leah's return. And, I mean, at this point, I think most people know, but there are some people that obviously, they just learned that because they just watched this episode. So, obviously, before we go any further, if you are new here and you do want more walkie to content like this, then make sure to be a subscriber. And also, I guess, as always, as I usually say, go follow all the social medias and stuff like that. Follow me on Twitter and etc. But yeah, anyways, I want to talk about this. So the, the one question that I, that I had going into this episode, or I guess into the season, knowing that Leah was most likely going to return, and I guess after the trailer mostly is when I started to really like, oh, I was wondering this, like, was Leah always meant to be a Reaper? And, and like, what was happening here? And Angela King actually confirms that, yes. Leah has always meant to be a re like this whole backstory here. Like Leah was always meant to be a reaper. It was always planned. And this was the character was originally planned this way. Once they got those bonus episodes, I guess that stuff just happened afterwards. So th that's the way I'm thinking of it is like, you know, they were planning to go into season 11 with this reaper idea, with the idea of getting into the Commonwealth. But they thought they were going to be going on for a few more seasons. And I mean, obviously, the, the show is going to be ending with this season. And because we got those bonus episodes, I think they needed to come up with some backstory, just some stuff to fill in some of the story between uh I guess between what we know right now about everything and I mean, yeah, looking back at those bonus episodes, I could definitely see that like what they were thinking, you know, with Gabriel and how he's handling everything, you know, his his mindset right now, how he's definitely he's taking a dark turn. Right. And we saw that in the bonus episodes with the with the maze episode. We also saw Aaron pretty shocked by what Gabriel did. And, and we do see him kind of, you know, stressing out about about things like that right now. And we see Negan basically let go of his past, but sort of accept who he is. Is and just, you know, he's Negan, so he, he's going to be Negan, right? And I would say it's exactly what we got here. We got we saw the Reapers that changed a little bit, at least the look of them, because in the bonus episodes, they looked like that one Reaper looked like just full on military. These Reapers here look more like post apocalyptic uh, military, I would say. And the Leah backstory, obviously, the Leah backstory is, I mean, yeah, they fleshed that out a lot. And I'm actually really happy with how everything turned out. And so it's kind of weird to think that. With all the Leah stuff here, we were supposed to see this woman take her mask off, like the Reaper mask off, look at Daryl, and then they would have this intense stare, and we'd be like, who the hell is this? And then we would learn throughout some dialogue and, I guess, future scenes that, yeah, she is Daryl's ex. And we'd be like, okay, wait, what? <laughs> like, what, what happened? And then I'm assuming maybe in that episode or in a future episode, we would get the backstory there, right? An explanation. And so, you know, it depends on what you would want, but I kind of like it the way it turned out, to be honest. And so the big question that I have here, obviously, the big focus of, of the video is talking about her return. And also, how is this going to affect Daryl and him having to choose between uh, her and Connie, right? Because we know Connie's going to return at some point this season. And so, you know, if Leah does survive this arc, what's going to happen here between Daryl Leah and Connie because he's gonna have to make some choices right like he could just say no screw it I'm not making this choice and run away <laughs> but like he's gonna have to make some choices here because where everything is at right now there is this connection with Leah right there's this rekindling that it that is slowly forming right now and you know early on I think in the episode it was really hard to to tell you knew there was a connection you knew their history but it was hard to see it there but I, I do believe the trial by fire I think that was I mean Angela King said first of all it was the perfect test it was the perfect thing to do for Daryl and for and for Pope because it was like this divine test right a trial by fire it just kind of fit the Reapers perfectly it fit their ideology perfectly and I think it worked out really well in the sense that Leah you know having seen what he just did to her like I think she's probably thinking okay we're not really 
much of a family like you like you said we were. And I think that's the one thing I like about the Reapers is that Pope's mentality is like us versus them, right? That's been his mentality the entire time. And so everyone here feels like a family. They feel so close. And then he goes and does something like that, almost gets Leah killed. And so she's probably thinking, uh, okay, like this is I don't know how I feel about this anymore. And then at the end, when he when he kills that Reaper in the fire, I think some Reapers are gonna start to turn. Maybe not all of them, but like for sure Leah. I, I think Leah is going to be questioning this. And I think we're going to learn more about like when she joined, how she joined, and I guess why. I mean, I guess we kind of got the why already. And so how long is this all going to take? How long is it going to take for Leah to decide really that I I don't want to be with the Reapers. I, I want to go back with Daryl. I believe it's going to happen in eight. And so this is my theory on, on the whole thing. This is how I think it's going to happen. And I think it makes a lot of sense. We know based off of the synopsis for episode eight that there's going to be this big walker horde that attacks Meridian. Leah is likely going to be there and obviously Pope is there and they're suspecting that Maggie's behind the attack. Uh, obviously, the Reaper arc is going to wrap up in this first part. There might be some little loose threads that get wrapped up in the second part for sure. But I, I think for the most part, the, the, the main part of the arc is done by episode eight. And I think by that episode, we're going to have Leah return because she I think she's going to give up like the Reaper way sort of to to like go back with Daryl. She's basically just going to give up that that type of life for him. Right. And I think that Daryl's going to be happy that she did that. And then they're going to go back to Alexandria. That That's kind of how I see it going. There's no way Leah's going to die right away because, you know, they made a big deal bringing her back like this. I think to get rid of her right away would, would suck. And she's a, a really awesome character. It's awesome to have Lynn Collins. I'm a huge fan of her. I love Leah. I love the character of Leah so much. And so, you know, like I, I want to I want to see a lot more from her. And also Norman Reedus has sort of teased that there is a lot more to come between Leah, you know, Connie and, and like Carol and stuff like that. There is this whole love, uh, not triangle or quadrangle, because obviously Carol's not. I guess triangle would work. Carol's not really in it, but Carol's going to get somehow in it because of, you know, what she did to Connie. And then there's some stuff there with Leah. There's going to be some argument, like somehow Carol will be involved with it, especially because of her relationship with Daryl and how strained that is right now, right? Because of what happened to Connie. So it's going to be a, a pretty big mess there that Daryl's going to have to deal with. My prediction is that Daryl returns to Alexandria with Leah and, you know, like they're they're back and, and maybe it looks like they're they're going to be an item. They're going to be a thing again. And then Connie's there. Right. And then Connie's like, who's this or whatever? But I don't even think she's going to be thinking that. First of all, I think she's just going to be so happy to see Daryl that she made it back here. Daryl's going to be freaking out and be so happy to see Connie. He's just going to run right up to her. And then I think afterwards, uh, Leah is going to be like, uh, actually, yeah, I would say Leah, if anything, is going to be like, uh, who's this? Right. And then I think that's the stuff that we're going to deal with in part two. There's going to be a lot of that drama. And so that's kind of my prediction here is I think by episode eight, that's what's going to happen. We're going to have Connie and Leah meet. If it doesn't happen in eight, it's going to happen in nine for sure. But I think it's going to happen then. And it's going to be quite interesting. I'll say that. I think. You know, to have Daryl in this position, it, it, it's kind of hilarious, you know. And so, yeah, overall, I'm so happy that Leah's back. I honestly am so happy that, that she's on the show right now because I, I think that she adds a whole other element to it. I guess a human element, I would say, right? Because the, the show, like with everything going on right now, there's a lot of like human stories and stuff, but a lot of it is so comic booky and so like just crazy. You know what I mean? Like the Reapers are, are coming for you. Like, just think about real life. Do we have a group like the Reapers like that? You know, like it doesn't feel like everything's real sometimes. And the show's always been really good at having that grounding feeling there. Right. And so I think this here grounds the story a lot. And it just makes it very relatable because we can relate to that. We can't really relate to like dealing with the whispers and reapers and, and all that. Right. So I'm really excited for that. I'm really excited to, to see what Leah brings to the story. And I I can't wait to see her back in Alexandria and to have everyone react to her because that's going to be like a big what you had. You, you met this woman. You haven't told anyone about her at all throughout like for the last however many years. Right. So I think that's going to be a lot of fun and I can't wait. So, yeah, like I said, I enjoyed Leah's return. I'm, I'm super happy that she's back on The Walking Dead and it's not a bonus episode. She's back. She's a part of the story. I just I love it. It's awesome. Uh, as for who do I think Daryl's going to choose? I think Connie. I was leaning more towards Leah because I really do like Leah. But honestly, I would have to go with Connie because she's she's perfect for him. Honestly, she's she's amazing. She is so nice. She's just incredible. I think, you know, I think Leah and Daryl would fight a lot. I think Connie and Daryl would get along perfectly. So 
I'm going to lean towards Connie. So, yeah, anyways, that's my answer on that. But I, I hope you guys all enjoyed the video. Make sure to be a subscriber if you want more Walking Dead content like this, and I'll see you guys in the next one.